Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Training Reviews. So I've just upgraded my MacBook to the new OS Mojave and I'm going to give you the top five features that come with this new OS and see how it looks on my laptop here and give you a little preview. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first one is dark mode and this basically changes the appearance of your entire Mac OS and you have two options here, you have light mode and dark mode. To do this, if you just go into settings and then choose general, you have two options for appearance at the top, one is light, one is dark, so I've got mine set as dark, if I change it to light you can see that everything goes back to the default Mac OS that you're pretty much used to, but it's uh, good to change it up a little bit, so I choose dark and I think it just looks a little bit more slick and a little bit more modern, so I'm going to keep it as that. So that's the number one uh, top feature with this new OS and the second feature that I'd like to mention is the dynamic desktop. Now underneath the settings panel if you go into desktop you have the uh, option here under the desktop tab to choose dynamic in the drop down. You can also keep it as light or still but if you choose dynamic then depending on the time of day it is the desktop wallpaper will be adjusted accordingly. So right now it's about 9 o'clock in the evening, so you've got a bit of more of a sunset kind of darkness coming through on this wallpaper, so this will change accordingly if it's daytime, so when I open this up tomorrow morning it will be uh, more lighter and very sunny. Number three is the gallery view in the finder. By default we had the thumbnail view, the list view or the split panel view. Now they've uh, replaced the cover flow with a gallery view which you can see here. Now this is the fourth option here and it basically gives you a nice little thumbnail navigation along the bottom which you can also scroll if you can just keep pressing the right arrow key on your keyboard and you can just cycle through all of your pictures in a particular folder. You have some options here at the bottom as well to rotate the images, add a bit of markup or convert any of the images to PDF which I think is a pretty nice touch. So this just changes the view of how you view your images on your finder windows. Number four is the screenshot tool. Now I think this is a pretty good upgrade, so previously I used to press shift command 4 to be able to select an area of the screen that used to copy it to the clipboard and I used to paste it into other applications such as Photoshop to edit. But the uh, command has changed a little bit, if you do shift command 5 now it gives you a more upgraded version of screenshotting so you can actually take uh, videos as well with this now and then you'll see a camera icon open up. If you just select some of the options along the bottom here, you can do capture the entire screen, the selected window or portions of the screen. You have some options as well to limit the timings, to change the microphone that you want to use and also where you'd like to save the uh, screenshots or the videos after you've actually captured them. And then once you start recording, you can see that in the selected folder, most likely it would be on your desktop. And number five, the last thing I wanted to mention is the desktop cleanup feature called Stacks. So if you have a lot of files and documents on your desktop and you're just used to dumping everything there, you can basically go back to your desktop, right click and choose the option here called Use Stacks and that will basically categorize all of the files and documents that you have into the certain categories that it links to. So for example, if I have a bunch of images as I have here, I'll click on Use Stacks and it will put everything together under Images and I'll be able to expand that out as if it was a dock icon. So that's pretty useful, it just makes everything a lot cleaner and smoother. There are also other enhancements as well, so you can actually have a look at the brand new Mac App Store. I think that looks pretty awesome, it's pretty much modern and sleek and just very nice to look at. A little bit easier to navigate, I do miss the fact that you were able to swipe with two fingers to the left to go back a page, but you're not able to do that anymore on this App Store. But overall, it's just pretty awesome, I like the fonts, the styling, I think overall this is a very good upgrade on the whole Mac OS. So I'm going to be giving you a review coming up very soon for the top 5 Mac apps that go very well with OS Mojave and especially that look good in dark mode so keep an eye out for that. Make sure you subscribe, I've got some awesome videos coming up which I think you'll like. If you have any questions, if you want me to try anything else with this OS then please do drop a comment below. Other than that, thanks for watching guys, I will see you at the next one. Take care.